Hey, this is Rich with Trulay Pools. Uh, today we're looking at uh, how to how a T handle or slide valve uh, operates for backwashing your filter. So instead of a multi-port valve, then you may have something that looks like a little T, or it's, so it's a T handle valve or a slide valve. That's what it's called. Um, and so that that's uh, that's for DE filters. You may have one of those installed. So how does that operate? This is what we're talking about here. This uh, particular one is a uh, Pentair uh, T valve or slide uh, slide valve, and so basic. But the Hayward ones uh, will work the same. So generally, you're going to have something marked on here as far as open or closed, and you can see that open or, or locked. So then, uh, this is the locked position, and so so basically, you're going to have uh, some sort of a little. Um, a little metal uh, piece that comes through the handle here and so you're locking it in the down position and then so then you're going to open it by turning it this way like it says and then you're pulling it up you're pulling it up here and then you're going to lock it back in this open position see and you can see right there it has a little it has a little slot right here that it travels in so it's it's this is the locked up position and so this is going to be backwash when it's up it's backwash when and then you're going to turn it back here push it down and then turn it back to the locked position like that and so they only have it only has two positions whereas a multi-port valve might have some other positions like waste or recirculate or uh, or closed or something like that so it, it uh, has different positions uh, but a slide valve only has two positions when it's down it's in filter mode and that means that it's actually circulating the water through the filter the DE is doing its jobs to clean job to clean the water and re and then it, it you know the clean water goes back to the pool put it in that so right here like that and then put it in the locked position then you can turn the pump on and then it's going to go out through the backwash line so make sure you have your backwash hose stretched out if you're about to backwash. Once you're, anytime that you change the positions of the valve, you always turn the pump off before you're changing the position of the valves. And then once you're done backwashing it, once the water becomes clear, uh, then you're basically unlocking it, pushing it all the way down. And so that little tab can go under there and lock it in. Like I said, the Hayward valves work the same way. They might look a little bit different, uh, but they still are going to have some little, some little raised uh, section so that you can lock it in at the bottom, pull it all the way up, and lock it in the top position. If you get to a point of where you cannot lock it all the way down, or let's say that, uh, yeah, usually it happens whenever you can't lock it all the way down. Uh, then probably the o-rings that are sealing those sections if you're if you're trying to push it down and then it's still leaking water out of the backwash line or you can't even get it all the way down in the lock position then something's broken on the inside you're gonna have to take this this whole take these screws off this whole piston assembly comes out you can replace those o-rings or or if the part of the piston is is broken then you can uh, order replacement whole uh, piston assembly is what that's called and you can replace the whole thing but keep those o-rings lubed up well so that they can go up and down uh, and you know easily but that's how a slide valve or t-handle works uh, hope this is helpful thanks for watching please share like and subscribe